Alright guys, in this video we'll be going over Japan and public transportation. So if you've ever been to Japan, you'll know that they have phenomenal, phenomenal public transportation. They are maybe very crowded, but they are they're on the spot when it comes to being on time. Their public transportation is so great that one time on their public transportation on one of their, their trains, the train was like, I think it was a minute or two minutes late and it sent out sorry letters to all the people. It was crazy. I don't know if that story was true, but like I would believe that it's true because it's, it's their trans, public transportation is phenomenal. My uncle actually used to work with the, the train system and transportation in in Tokyo in Japan he's he's from Japan you know grew up and was raised there and he he and I both love trains but it's just super cool how how their public transportation is just so amazing and you can get um, you can get transportation all around Japan through trains they have the bullet trains it takes about five hours to drive from Tokyo to Kyoto but if you take the bullet train though it costs a lot more it's like $130 you can probably drive for 30 or 40 dollars depending it is i think it takes like an hour and a half or two hours to get from tokyo to to kyoto which is super fast you could definitely go to kyoto for the day if you live in tokyo or to tokyo for the day using that train system though you know it's going to be a little pricey it's going to be a couple hundred dollars to go back and forth but the fact that you can do that is amazing they they have really good boat transportation between the islands they have buses that go everywhere they have trains that go everywhere um i've if you're not phenomenal with Japanese or you don't speak Japanese at all, you can still get around. There's plenty of people who speak English and the Japanese people are super, super nice. One time when I was going from Tokyo to Mount Fuji, we had to go on a few different trains and at one of the stops, me and my friend Peter, we were trying to get uh, onto another train and we didn't know where the train was. There were so many trains at this train station. It was crazy and we were lost between all the people going out around everywhere. We knew we had to get on this train somehow. And so I asked the first person I saw, I said, ah, excuse me, I said in Japanese, uh, you know, do you know where, do you know where this train's going? And I probably messed up the way I was saying it. And he said, he replied in English or something, telling that I couldn't speak Japanese. And um, he, he was able to give me help and show me how to get you know, he, he actually walked me across the train station and took me to one of the little booths where they were selling the tickets. And he showed me, you know, and this is where they speak English, whatever. And, you know, he went on his way, but he, he went out of his way, this businessman, he was like in a suit and everything. He went out of his way to help me out, you know, this stranger, this foreigner. And I was able, me and my friends were able to get, um, you know, our train ticket. We were able to get to Mount Fuji. We were able to, you know, catch the right train and everything. and. Just the people there are super helpful. It is a crazy experience going on the public transportation system, but it's, def it's definitely something you have to do when you go to Japan. Definitely something I recommend doing. I just recommend going to Japan in general because they just have such good food, such good people, so much to do, so much to see. I lived there for two years and I mostly just spent the time on the islands in the south. I did go up to mainland a few times. I did go to Mount Fuji and see Tokyo and whatnot, but I'm going back this spring. I'm gonna check out some more stuff to do there and I will probably won't even see a little bit of it. I need, I'm gonna to have to go back and spend more and more time. You can really spend years and years of time and probably just scratch the surface of seeing you know, some of Japan. Super phenomenal place, really great people. Highly recommend it. So if this video has been helpful, awesome. Just hit, a, hit that like button, maybe give me a comment. Um, and if you wanna see more videos about Japan, the next 10 or so videos, I'm gonna be talking about some things about Japan and some travel things. And then pretty soon here, I'm gonna be traveling for six to nine months. And if you wanna see some awesome travel vlogs, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell icon and you'll be posted it. You'll be notified every single time that I post a video. All right, guys, this has been NST. Never stop traveling. Peace out.